Putin wants to disclose about the Anunnaki. Now, I posted a video before with former KGB agent Whistleblower in his interview talking about this. And I sat here for hours trying to transcribe and translate what he was saying because in the video it is so difficult to understand. So let's get into it. First of all, I want to say that what this agent is saying coincides with the whistleblower, former head of security from Area 51, that I already made a video about. Where these Anunnaki giants that woke up from stasis were not able of being contained, bullets in regular firearms do absolutely nothing to them. Like in the movie Superman, do you see the extraterrestrials with the superpowers? So let's see if I can sum it up. Putin wants to disclose about the Anunnaki, but he can't. Russian government calls it the Anunnaki threat. The question was, when did Putin learn about this threat? And what is the background that has Putin determining that the Anunnaki are evil? And former KGB agent says, early 2012. He doesn't remember the exact date, but it was 2012 when they started getting reports on extraterrestrial intelligence. Allegedly, the Anunnaki are in Syria, in Jordan and Ukraine, based on their intelligence. They seem to have been infiltrating in the war on both sides, and this is to camouflage within the war and be able to take humans out. The next question is, if these things are happening out of Russia, then why does Putin care? Putin cares because unlike the rest of the world, he realizes the huge threat, or maybe he's not their puppet and others are. He goes on to say that if they don't fight them in Syria, one day we're gonna end up having to fight them in Russia. He makes a reference to Stalingrad. The next question is, are, what is their disposition? Are they strong? Allegedly, these Anunnakis are giants. There are smaller ones that are three meters, and then there are the taller ones that go all the way up to five meters. And just so you know, three meters is about 9.10 feet. Five meters is over 16 feet tall. Everything coincides and the ancient history left on earth by these Anunnaki. And Putin has given an executive order to prepare nationwide. The Anunnaki are trying to defeat the military bases in Europe. Their early encounters with the Anunnaki took place in caves in Syria, where he says they, they lost many Russian soldiers. He says that they have energy spears. And it reminds me a lot of when the movie Stargate was showing the army of Ra. Remember how they had those spears, the energy lasers? He said the Russian soldiers looked like pigs in mud. They ask how many encounters with the Anunnaki they've had. And he says seven. He makes a special reference to bombings in Syria. The Minister of Defense in Russia made a special special bomb order, but it's not a regular bomb, and a release energy pulse weapon. The interviewer says, so Putin's not going to have any problem at all wiping them out, right? Mm, mm -mm. He says that's not so easy because they have a very special method of transportation. They have portals which only they can see moving them instantaneously from one location to the other within a matter of seconds. He says if they see the troops coming, they strike back right away. And this has happened, taking out all of the human forces. Or they simply take a portal and vanish and reappear in another location. It is believed that they can even move thousands of miles away through these portals. They speculate that these portals are fixed locations and that they were installed by the Anunnaki in previous years. Now, they're not saying thousands of years ago. 
they have been here for a while and they have been prepping. Humans have no idea how many of these portals there are. There could be millions. The portals could even go back to their home planet.